Hello everybody, my name is Aqualus and welcome back to Terraria the tutorial playthrough where I give you tips, advice and guides on how to beat the game this way. And we've got episode 15 as far as I remember, which is which is awesome, you know, that we're already on episode 15. For, well, first of all, what I want to do is I want to check the uh, die trader, strange plans, mirage, uh, it's very bad, so I'll just put it in the chest and we will forget about it. Where should I put it? Oh, full. Oh my god, those chests are full already. I have a lot of stuff. I, I need to organize my inventory. Pro in not inventory, but you know, chests. So probably the next episode is going to be very boring. Organizing. How to organize your items. Uh, where to put your chests, you know, all of the kind of stuff. Well, okay, so in this episode we're going to do a very special thing. It's going to be a very short episode because I just want to show you one simple single thing. Well, it's not really simple, but it's very, very special. I have four of the most best swords in the pre-hard mode world. So we've got the Muramasa, we've got the Greatsword, you know, Fairy's Greatsword, Light's Bane, and Blade of Grass. So, with these four swords, I can make the best of the best, the, the greatest sword in pre-hard mode, the Knight's Edge. And currently it's uh, Knight settling down, as you can see. There we go, that's the sun, so, you know, it's going to be night soon. And to make the Ninth Edge, you have to go to the Corruption. Ooh, spooky. So let's just head back to Corruption. Not head back, but you know, just go to Corruption and craft that that amazingly awesome sword. Seriously, once when Terraria didn't have any hard mode or anything, uh, that was the best sword in the game. Of course, now that there is hard mode, there is Moon Lord and all that, it's, it's not, you know, it's it's not anymore. And that's quite sad because that's, that item is just amazing. Seriously, like. So let's just go to... oh yeah, that's the entrance, probably, I would say. I don't go to corruption very often because, you know, it's spooky and... you know. So, to craft it, first of all, we need to kill the worm, because it's annoying. Come at me. There we go. So now, you find... Uh, there's also another one here, but you find this thing. It's called the Demon Altar. Uh, and it's going to be pretty important when we start the hard mode, but also it's important because it acts as a very special crafting station. So now we go to crafting window, Knight's Edge, Light's Bane, Muramasa, Blade of Grass, Fairy Greatsword, the Knight's Edge. Ooh, it's just standard one. No, you know, no improvements to it. Oh, we got Knight's Edge. So now let's just head back. And this, my friends, is the Knight's Edge. It's nothing special, I, I know, it's, it's just a sword, but still, this sword once once was the best sword in the game. So it's, it's kinda, it has this feeling, you know, to me, this nostalgia when I see it, because they've been playing this game since, well, since 1.0. I remember 1.1, 1.2, and then 1.3 was released, and yeah, the sword has been in the game ever since the game was actually released in 1.2, oh, I, I think, yes, it was. So this is the Knight's Edge, and I actually, let's, uh, we can actually give it a little bit of uh, improvement, because I'll be farming some uh, events, so I don't care about losing money that much, I guess. Uh, it's only one gold or two, so heavy, bad, weak, bad, deadly. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. It's, it's not legendary, legendary will be awesome, but still, as you can see, it's way faster, it does more damage, now it does uh, plus 10. And it also has plus 11 speed. So now, since this episode is going to be very short, I don't want to, you know, put like 3 minute episode on YouTube, because, you know, it's not going to be very interesting. So I, I'm going to go to the dungeon, I'm going to explore a bit more, because there's still this place to explore, and... Uh, and I guess, uh, yeah, something down there, too. So let's just head to the, the, the dungeon and let's explore that place. Totally for fun. I also want to find the alchemy station because I haven't found it. Yet. So, you know, it's going to be pretty nice to actually get it. So I can actually uh, get myself the nice improvement to potion making. So I have this very simple th tip for you uh, when you're in the dungeon. Always have the life form analyzer or something like that. So you can actually see the rare creatures. Why? Because this way... If there is a dungeon slime, you know, the one that drops it, that has 100% chance to drop the key, the golden key, then you will be able to know. So I'm just constantly looking at this, and uh, there we go, said dungeon slime, for example, and uh, now it doesn't, or maybe it does, it's, some, it's somewhere down below. Let's let's just go down there. Oh, there we go, there he is. So, just, I, I told you guys, I just told you, always have the life analyzer because now 
boom 100 chance to get yourself the golden key and i can go now uh, i can go up now and just grab myself a whole full nice uh, golden chest so let's uh, see where it, it is it should be around here somewhere a little bit more up so in that direction yes so let's place a torch in here so it's going to be brighter i want to explore that area I want to get the alchemy station because if there isn't an alchemy station in the world then I'll be surprised I usually get like two or three of them in the dungeon in one single dungeon and this is like a medium world I think so there we go that's the chest that's the nearest chest let's open it another cobalt shield actually that's pretty nice so now I have uh, another cobalt shield for myself well doesn't matter still still a very nice item also want to take uh, some of these uh, uh, water candles so I can make farms and whatnot Oh, there we go, says Dungeon Slime again, so I don't know where he really is, but oh, there we go. So I was pretty lucky to get two Dungeon Slimes so soon. They are usually pretty rare to find, but uh, nowadays, that's pretty damn cool to find uh, two of them. So I just want to go in that direction, see what's uh, what's there, what can I find, my health is low, because there's another Dungeon Slime. Oh, what? W what is this luck, people? There's another one up there, what? You gotta be kidding me. What? They're very rare, like how? Okay, he shouldn't despawn from a distance like this. Yeah, he didn't. What? Okay, I haven't really been in here, in this area of the dungeon, so there might be traps and, you know, all this, all the other bad stuff. What? I've, I've, I've just found like four dungeon slimes in this kind of a fast succession. What's in here? Oh, uh, deadly magic, magic missile. It's not good, ignore it. You can make a, another item out of it in hard mode, but it's also not very useful, so doesn't matter too much, I guess. Always place the torches around if you can. You can like buy them from merchant like for super cheap, so it doesn't matter. Oh, there's another one. I just want to actually place torches right now, and after that I'll go to, exp you know, get the chests and whatnot. And also, don't remove these spikes. Like, currently you're taking damage from them, and quite a bit of it actually, but later in the hard mode you will be taking one damage out of it. Uh, out of those, uh, so it doesn't really matter. Let's just head up, and it just ends there. So you know it's not worth going. It's not like it's not worth going. I can't even go there. <laughs> uh, I'm just stupid sometimes. Okay, so let's another golden key. I've got three of them now. That's pretty cool. That's that's like really really cool. Nice. Okay, so also um, you you may think what what are these chests you know what what is this key icon what's what what's going on well these are biome chests you can only open them in hard mode they drop very good items but you know only hard mode so i'll explain them, them later and i'll try to open all of them it's going to be very difficult i never done this before so you know it's going to be it's going to be quite a challenge for me but i, w I really want to do it also kill all the enemies if you can because you know they drop loot and whatnot there we go banner for me I can just also uh, in dungeon enemies banner just simply place it you know there's no point in keeping it uh, b back to your home so you can actually have so uh, when you place them you get the, the buff against these enemies another dungeon slime what the hell okay th this is serious like so what I was saying always place these banners in uh, areas where the, those enemies spawn so for in my case it's the dungeon also got the dark caster banners so that's pretty cool so you know Where's, oh there we go Okay, oh my god, I hate this. This is cursed. It's a debuff that these skull thingies give you, and you can use items. Very annoying. So, I've explored this area, and there was no freaking uh, alchemy station. Like, what the hell? What does this mean? Like, why? 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 Just, goddamn. Okay, so I think I've explored this place truly. I think I did. I don't know. I, I want to actually settle down for a minute and check uh, if there's any chests around. But I'm still taking all the damage, so... <sighs> Locked corruption chest, that's pretty cool. What else? What else? I need items, people. I need items, come on. It's chairs. Water candle, nothing. Oh my god, there's nothing, really. Oh, taking damage, cursed again. Very annoying debuff. I just, I just hate this debuff so much. Because it disables all of your items, so you can't do anything about it. Oh, these holes are annoying. Another golden key. I've got four of them. I got another tally counter though. So tally counter, it um, it shows you how many enemies of that type you killed. Which, which, that's pretty cool, I say. Yeah, it's a very nice item. So you can actually see what kind of enemies you dislike the most. In my uh, original Terraria playthrough, 
which happened actually not that far, not that uh, the, there's not a dungeon slime, I think. What in the heckin' world? How many of these guys are there? What? So, uh, in my original Terraria playthrough, I was trying to kill every single penguin I could see. So I had like a thousand kills on penguins or something, or hundreds of them at least. That was pretty funny, actually. I just I just dislike penguins because I always tend to spawn in snow biome for no reason. So, you know, and penguins are the the most uh, spawning enemy, not enemy, but mob in the snow biome, so I really dislike them. Six keys. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even need that many. So I'll just ignore most of the... Uh, I'll just... Sell it. Can we sell them? I don't know. We will see how about, how that goes. Oh, there's another chest. An alchemy station. Hooray. Lovely. What's in this one? Another shadow key. I already have it. Doesn't matter. I'm taking it anyways because, you know, I might lose my uh, current one or something. So, you know. Let's just continue exploring to find the alchemy station. I think I'm going to skip now because it's boring as hell until I find the alchemy station. This dungeon is larger than I thought, just look at it. It's massive, seriously though. It's very big. And there's another dungeon slime. God damn it, there's so many of those. I don't even need them, you know? I have so many keys right now, like five. I could open half of the dungeon just probably with that. Of course I'll kill him again because, you know. I don't even know if they have banner, because if they do, that would be so cool to get. I've killed 11 of them already. That's mostly in this episode too, so that's pretty crazy. Oh man, there's nothing. I, I can't find the bloody alchemy station still, like, seriously though. That item isn't supposed to be rare, it's supposed to be, you know, kinda easy to get, you know, nothing too serious, but this time, god, it's taking so much time. Oh, there we go, what's, ah, oh, the ugh, bloody missile. I don't need it. It's useless. Okay, let's just light this place up. I'm going to piss. I'm, I'm going to be pissed off if I don't find the alchemy station. I need it. Seriously though, it's it's a very good item. It's a very good uh, crafting station. It's just awesome. How can there be no bloody station? Seriously, that is just stupid. Totally. What's with this glitch? What? What's going on here? It's weird. You see how these bricks are formed? That, that, that doesn't happen. What? There's quite a bit of them too. What? Like, the, I know this game is glitchy because it's, you know, open world sandbox, you can do anything kind of game. But yeah, oh my god, just look at the size of this dungeon, seriously though. As I told you, dungeons are massive, like, totally, absolutely massive. Another banner, how many now? 150. That's quite a bit of uh, enemies to kill. What's in here? Uh, another Valor, already have that, so let's actually start trashing stuff, because I have a lot of items in my inventory, so... Wonder Walking, never use that, I don't care about this one. Oh, actually, I do. Um, Night Owl, let's drink it right now, Recall Shite, Glow Sticks, Invisibility, Grunner Chunks, Day Bloom. Um, what else? Dynamite, I can buy it, Bones are quite nice. Uh, rope, I guess. So now after trashing some stuff, we can continue on our beautiful, wonderful adventure to find one single crafting station that I bloody can't for some reason, like totally no reason at all. Oh my god, this thing is taking so much time. This, this ain't even funny anymore. Like it was funny, you know, huh, where's the, where's the bloody station, but now this is just stupid. Also, this is like super weird. Look at this pattern, like at how it goes in this V, that's so weird. This dungeon is very weird, though. I never see dungeons like these. Ulster's lava already. We're kind of deep. So, I, as I told you, this goes pretty near the underworld. So, it's also very good to, uh, at stopping corruptions from spreading, because corruption spreads, that's right. That biome can spread itself. Which is kind of scary, but I know it sounds scary, but... Uh, it's, it really isn't, in my opinion. On, oh, nice. Uh, just a regular chest. Of course, I'll take it. And what do we get? We get two gold. Hooray. Okay, so... This is not funny anymore. Like, seriously. It feels like they removed the station, the, uh, the alchemy station overnight just for fun, you know, let's prank all the people. Also, this dungeon is truly massive. There's still some stuff that I haven't explored, like, for example, here. It's not even in there. Like, I can live without the, that station, 
because um, crafting potions is a sim it's very simple. Uh, you simply... Also, what's this painting I'm taking? It looks very cool. Trio superheroes. That's pretty cool. So... Okay. So, uh, like, crafting potions is very basic. All you have to do is simply uh, place a water bottle on a workbench, and that way you'll get yourself a fully pledged uh, crafting station for potions. But alchemy station gives you a chance to... Like a 20 or something percent. I don't, I don't, I don't know the percentage, but it gives you a percentage chance not to consume ingredients, which is very amazing. Oh, found it! God! Oh, found it! Finally! My God! So this is the alchemy station. Oh, f alchemy table station. Whatever. I don't care. Oh God! I already. F oh, finally! This took so long. Like seriously, though. It's, it's not even funny how long this took. Okay, it doesn't matter about any of this. Also, what the hell? Why is this... Is this a large world? This was a medium world, right? Why is this dungeon so huge? Okay, I, I'm not even placing torches right now. I just want to simply run in one direction and see how truly large is it, this dungeon is. Because this is not normal. This is the first time I see a dungeon this large in a normal world. I remember how I made this normal, how this works. It's, it's a normal world. The dungeon shouldn't be too big. And also there's another one. Of course there is. I'm ignoring the chest too. I, I just want to see how bloody large the dungeon really is. Because this is not normal at all to, to see a dungeon this huge. Okay, and uh, doesn't matter. Go back home. Why is this dungeon so large? Look at this. It's, it's it's a massive, like seriously. I think it should cut off like around here and this part shouldn't exist, but it does for some reason. What? <laughs> that That's like truly crazy. So let's put the alchemy table or station, whatever. Oh, finally got it. My God. After three episodes of dungeons, I've been in the, like the Skeletron one and the previous video, I think I was in the dungeon. And in this one, I was in the dungeon. I finally got it. So anyways, guys, I so hope you enjoyed the video. We did quite a bit. We found the alchemy table. We've got ourselves the Knight's Edge. We we discovered how bloody massive the dungeon is for no reason at all. Oh, God. We've... Yeah. So next video is going to be very boring. I'm going to be doing some form of a uh, chest management thing. So because currently all my items are completely random and I want to actually put them in the, for example, the chest for weapons, the chest for potions, the chest for, I don't know, building materials, whatever. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then please leave a like down below. And if you want to see more content like this, then of course, subscribe to my channel and press the bell button, bell button to get all notifications about my upcoming videos. It was me, Aqualos. I wish you very good luck and I'll see you soon.